So hello, I am The Alchemist, and in today's video I thought I would go over how to use Count Dooku and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now Count Dooku is a very straightforward character. He has three abilities, just like every single character in this game. Now one thing that you just saw there that you want to take advantage of is being able to swing really, really fast. That is what Dooku is known for throughout Star Wars lore, and it's no different in Battlefront 2. Now what you just saw there was his middle ability, which allows him to swing faster and drains a little bit less stamina. And what you saw there was his L1 ability, his lightning ability, which allows him to shock people and stun them. As you see here, it's a great tool for surprise attacking. As you see here, me and Palpatine were too much for Obi-Wan and he couldn't overcome it. Now his fast swings allowed me to kill Anakin here as well. And it's just a great way to get out of trouble. Like, you can really, if you catch people off guard, you really can do some damage with Count Dooku. It's kind of cool as well. Now, his R1 ability that you just saw me use there is actually a ability that allows them where they can't use any of their abilities. It's, it's very similar to Obi-Wan Kenobi's Daze and Boba Fett's Concussion. But, uh, like, it's, it creates black around the... Uh, around the screen. But yeah, Count Dooku is one of the funnest characters to use. As you can see here, I have no problem taking all these guys on right here, because I just know that I swing much faster. So in a swinging match, which a lot of this is, you're more capable of winning. And like I said in my previous video, it helps to be around your teammates as well. <laughs> yeah, they die there. But yeah, see, I waited for him to roll, and then I lunged at him. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that was the whole play. Quick swings. And it's, this is another thing. That, like, his the ability to swing fast is huge, because you see me just kill Obi, Luke, and Anakin. And the final kill of the match right here. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was just fun playing as him, because I could easily op overcome his weakness of not having that many abilities. There. So, Obi-Wan Kenobi, his abilities include being able to push you, and his middle ability is to stun you, just like you saw there. Kind of gives the little daze effect. And his R1 ability is to basically run forward and he hits anything in his path. He kind of auto swings. I had to figure that out on my own. The game does not tell you that that's how it works. Because you just assume, oh, I got to swing. But when you swing, you'll do a little animation where you do one kind of big swing and that's it. But you can actually do a lot more damage if you don't do that right there. Now, tips on being able to use Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's a very hard character to learn. And just like in Star Wars lore, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a defensive fighter. He always has been and always will be. He's one of those characters in this game where you really gotta find your windows of opportunity. Because when he gets swarmed like this, good luck. It's gonna be very difficult to be successful with Obi-Wan Kenobi. What you want to do is you want to kind of exhaust them a little bit if you're getting attacked by a bunch of people, like I was during this entire match. So when that when people when the whole team is just bullying you and they're just going after one guy repeatedly, like it felt like they were doing to me. What I noticed is that Kenobi can take a lot of damage, so I was basically baiting them and waiting for my opportunities. And as soon as I found those opportunities, that's when I would attack and use all my abilities at once. As you see, the entire team is trying to kill me here, and they cannot do it because of how much of a defensive fighter in this game Obi-Wan Kenobi is. And again, timing is everything. Like, you see how I waited for Grievous to jump up in the air? It's exactly why I did the push ability, because it knocked him off balance, and then I was able to uh, do some damage before I got ultimately sworn, but that is how you stop people from swarming you. You want to be aggressive, as always, you know, really, really aggressive. 
And also, when enemies do get aggressive on you, Kenobi has a little bit of a slower swing, so it al it allow him it allows him to basically every time they hit you, they won't be able to block it because your swing is a tad bit slower, so you can continuously do damage to him. It's not always evident or not very known by very many people. It's the same thing with Darth Vader, which I talked about in my other video. So if you guys do want to check that one out, I will have a link. But yeah, like I said, Kenobi's one of those characters where everyone likes to swarm him because he's so good at defense. So again, it's all about waiting for your opportunities, waiting for the openings, and then striking. It's it's how he is in Star Wars lore, and it's the same in this game. That's what I've uh, learned while playing a bunch of matches as Kenobi. I also really like his uh, his Clone Wars outfit. I think his Clone Wars outfit is really, really cool. And again, <laughs> Boba Fett, like, I'm gonna do a video on Boba Fett, guys, and all the sh characters that are shooters that use blasters in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But in the meanwhile, Kenobi has this thing about him that's really, really cool, and it's unique to every other character in this game, and that is his stamina reigns a lot slower, like I said earlier. And I said it is a lot slower, which in turn allows me to kill Phasma right here. Although I did have the help from my teammates, and that's why I always say be by your teammates, because you'll be able to do a lot better in matches just in general if you're with your teammates. And also, it depends on how your teammates are playing. Are they playing together, or are they playing for themselves? And sometimes they play together, and sometimes they play for themselves. Now, I've always said, like, his push ability is really useful on maps where there's edges, similar to Maul's choke ability. But as you can see here, he, he kind of fell off the edge, but I waited a little bit, and then I used the push to then kill Darth Vader, which was a lot of fun, because he had been chasing me this full match so we get him right there was pretty cool and again whenever an enemy character is very aggressive with Kenobi I know I'm gonna win because Kenobi attacks slower so he can get more damage in but you never you wouldn't think a, an enemy attacking slower would be an advantage but for this mode heroes with spells it is definitely a huge advantage and again I always be with like I said before be with your teammates And being with your teammates is a huge strategy that I think a lot of people, if a lot of people were with their teammates, I think they would do a lot better. I think <laughs> some people get frustrated easily in this mode because of, you know, dying a bunch. But I, don't, I think that's, I think that's dumb. I think you should always be with your teammates as it proves totally worth it right here. I mean, this is the most craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life while playing this, this game. <laughs> Everybody was in this corner here, and we were just going at it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was just epic. That whole that whole thing was just epic. Yeah, did you see that sneak attack on Maul? But that was a general overhaul on how to use Obi Wan Kenobi. There's not really much to it. Remember, he is a defensive fighter. Don't. You want to be very laid back and find your openings and take advantage when they arise. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys all in the next video.